welcome to Molly's Kitchen. Today we will be making steam buns, or in my language we call it galapao. In Vietnamese they call it bun bao, but today we are doing my mom's recipe. So, you want to start off by taking self-rising flour, and what you want to do is put three cups of self-rising flour. The recipe for the dough is very, very simple. So do the dough first before you actually do the, the meat. So three cups. One. Teaspoon of salt, and then what you want to do is take uh, well, it's going to be two cups of water, but you want to put it slowly, so kind of stir it in a little bit just like that, a little by little. Just use a fork if you like. I'm using a fork myself, and this makes about uh, pretty good size steam buns maybe mm, a dozen, if not uh, 10 to 12. Okay, see, I've already used about a cup, but use a little bit at a time. Now, you wanna use your hands. I've got some flour here, just to make sure my hand's not too uh, sticky with the water. And so just knead it in like that so I took some of the wash my hands with the sticky dough so you want to feel yep perfect perfect make into a little ball like that and put it to the side cover it up with uh, um, a piece of cloth and by the time you're mixed your meat um, this will be ready Okay, so now we're gonna mix uh, the meat. So what you wanna do is take one pound of ground, uh, ground pork. You're gonna add about one and a half tablespoon of chopped ginger. You're gonna add uh, two or three cloves of minced garlic. You're gonna add two teaspoons of the chicken base. Uh, one tablespoon of olive oil. Uh, one to two tablespoons of oyster sauce. I'm also going to put in half a cup of diced onions, some black pepper, a half a cup of green onions, chopped green onions, one cup of peas, and then what I'm going to do is this is called jicama. Um, you want to use about half. Uh, a good size and I'm going to show you how to cut it okay so all you need is half you want to peel it off just like that and this is really rough I haven't done one of those Ooh, made a big mess so peel it and you, know, you can get this at any grocery store uh, I got mine at uh, Safeway okay so what you want to do is just chop it up like um, like your onion, mince it. So this is the key to having this uh, uh, steam buns because you don't taste this in many, many recipes. So this is what my mom puts in her recipe. And just dice it, just about a half. You don't need very much, half or one pounder. And, uh, you can actually, some people eat this just raw by itself, like a piece of fruit. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> and uh, just likes it just like that. You never know. Put it all in here. Beautiful. Yeah, that looks like a lot. Just a lot. But before I get into this, I want to show you um, what. Uh, we're gonna put in. So you boil 
three eggs and you're gonna cut them into fours, okay? Cut your eggs to fours, just like that, and then set it aside. Just don't, don't cut your fingers, okay? I've done that before many times. Just do this way to be safe. Into fours, just like this. And then the Chinese sausage is optional, but I love it with that it in there, so. That Chinese style sausage. So you want to put it diagonally, just like this, into quarters. So now we got the, the inside already. Okay. Okay. So I want to mix this really well. Mmm, smells good. Really nice. Wow. So stir it all up. And then you want to make, oops, uh, you want to make a ball. Size right here. Just like that. Size ball. And then you're going to make, um, we made three eggs, so we're going to do 12 balls. Have it laid out, ready. Okay, so now that you've made some of the meats into little one inch balls like this, you wanna take some parchment paper, cut into uh, squares. This is actually a rectangular shape, a square rectangular shape. Here's my dough, here's this. I wanna talk a little bit about how you're gonna steam it, the steam buns. Now you can get this at your local Asian store. This is really nice and used for um, bun bows dumplings, uh, dim sum. If you're gonna make large amounts, uh, you wanna use this. I've uh, got a bigger stainless steel. Very nice. I'm gonna use a small one today because I'm not making very many. I'm just gonna do, looks like about eight, four in each little pile, okay? So what you wanna do is put this, um, have some water boiling and put about a quarter cup of vinegar in the water and then we'll turn the heat on. The vinegar uh, makes the dough um, not yellowish, but makes it keeps it white. Okay, so now this is the fun part. You want to take your uh, dough, make it about two inch balls, just like that. Two inch balls. And we are going to roll. Okay, so again, take your dough flatten it out to be five inches, just like that. Take your meat, put it in the middle, your eggy. I like lots of sausages in mine, so I'm gonna put three. Then you're gonna lift, okay? Lift and turn and pinch, just like that. Lift and turn and pinch, and then you twist. Twist like the little flower, oops, so you might have some that just have a little accident just like that, so just kind of pinch it over to fix it and do your little turn. So if you make a boo-boo, this is the one you're gonna be eating instead of having others eat it. See how I fixed that? Very simple. So let's do another one here. So five inches or so, your meat, your eggy, your sausage, and then lift up, pinch around, just like this. Get the little corners together and turn like a little flower. Okay, just like that. Beautiful. And stick it in the uh, bamboo steamer. So you wanna steam it for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna just show you guys this halfway through. Beautiful, 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 almost done. And so we got another 14 minutes. Okay, our 30 minutes are up. So you wanna be very careful, take out your uh, mittens. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, they turn out really nice. So before you do another batch, you wanna make sure you reload on that water, okay? 
Now what we're gonna do is pull them out and have it cool down just a little bit. So I'm gonna transfer them while they're still hot. Just like this. Nice and hot and warm and just let it cool there. And then have your second batch going on. Very nice. To your second batch okay so we have pulled these guys out after 30 minutes so they've cooled down a little bit so this is what it looks like inside beautiful yummy and so that batch that I made it actually came out perfectly with 10 steam buns Beautiful. All right, you guys, so after they cool down a little bit, you want to take some saran wrap and wrap it just like that and put it, uh, you know, you can eat it right away, you can put it in a refrigerator, you can freeze it, they freeze really nicely. All right, just like that. Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Galapao, the steam buns. Bun bao, whatever you like to call it, it will still taste the same. And if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Next week, tune in. We are going to vote to see what I'm going to be making next. Have a good day.